All right, YouTubers, welcome back to War Thunder Ground Forces with the Angry Nerd. And today I thought we would take a look at the SD KFZ 221. Now, the Leichter Panzer Spy Wagon in German roughly means light armored reconnaissance vehicle was a series of light four wheel drive armored cars produced by Nazi Germany from 1935 to 1944. After World War I, the Treaty of Versailles limited the size of the German military, as well as the type and amount of vehicles it was authorized to have. Under the treaty, tanks were forbidden, but armored cars were allowed for police purposes only, and later they were authorized for the army itself, although limited in armament and quantities. The first German armored car produced under the Treaty of Versailles was the SD KFZ 13. It was designed in 1933 and it was basically a civilian automobile with a light armored body. This gave it very bad off-road performance. In 1935, the German Wehrmacht was still under construction and in secret maneuvers in the Soviet Union, it was recognized that a new scout car with better off-road performance, armor, and armament was necessary to succeed the KFZ-13. The SD KFZ-221 was designed from the start to be an armored car with better off-road capabilities. It had four-wheel drive, with independent suspension and four-wheel steering. The V8 3.5 liter 20 horsepower engine was relocated to the rear of the vehicle. From above, the hull had a diamond-like shape, thin at the front and the rear, wider in the center, made of welded steel plates on a sloped body, 14 millimeters on the front, six millimeters on the side and the rear. This was suitable for deflecting most low velocity projectiles. The standard armament was an MG-34 machine gun protected by a small front shield with about 1100 rounds. The base model and first production series had a crew of two, the driver who was situated in the front with two protected vision hatches and the commander who served as the gunner was located in the center. Its official designation was Leichter Panzer Spa Wagon SD KFZ 221 Light Reconnaissance Armored Car Special Purpose Vehicle 221. The 221 also proved to be too small and too lightly armed. So in 1936 and 37, a heavier version was planned. The SD KFZ 222 was fitted with a heavier armament and larger turret than the SD KFZ 221. They had combined production of approximately 339 vehicles from 1935 to 1940. To increase their firepower, some of the SD KFZ 221s were rearmed with the 28mm SPZ B41 heavy anti tank rifle in a modified turret. The 28mm SPZ B41 was a German anti tank weapon that used the squeeze bore principle. Although the SPZ B41 was classified as a heavy anti-tank rifle, its construction was much more typical of an anti-tank gun. Like the latter, it had a recoil mechanism, cartridge, and shield. The only significant feature the weapon had in common with an anti-tank rifle was the lack of elevation and traverse mechanisms, as the light barrel could easily be manipulated manually. The design was based on a tapering barrel with the caliber reducing from 28 millimeters at the chamber end 
to only 20 millimeters at the muzzle. The projectile had two external flanges. As it proceeded toward the muzzle, the flanges were squeezed down, decreasing its diameter, with the result that pressure did not drop off as quickly and the projectile was propelled to a higher velocity. The barrel's design resulted in a very high muzzle velocity of up to 1400 meters per second, but a very short barrel life of about 500 rounds. When the Blitzkrieg was unleashed in Poland and France, the SD KFZ 221s and 222s used a good road network and appeared to be fast and agile. But during Operation Barbarossa, in the winter and in the muddy season, four-wheeled vehicles were found very hard to use. Therefore, they were gradually replaced in the reconnaissance role by the SD KFZ 250 half-track. Now in War Thunder Arcade, the SD KFZ 221 is a rank 1 light tank slash armored car with a battle rating of 1.3. It has a 143 horsepower engine propelling the 4 ton vehicle to a top speed of around 50 miles per hour. It comes equipped with the 28 slash 20 millimeter SPZB-41 cannon. Now I have it assigned to an expert crew with a crew level of 150 which gives me a reload of 3.2 seconds. With a premium account it has an XP reward of 200% and a silver line reward of 30%. So what do I think of the 221 here in War Thunder? Well, I'm not a huge fan of this vehicle for many reasons. Although the gun has the potential to punch well above its weight with significant penetration, the projectile does very little damage when it does penetrate the target, and this means you must crew snipe. And many players at this tier may not be familiar with crew sniping. The vehicle also has absolutely no armor, and only two crew members. The gun is not fully traversable, which means you must face or slightly angle the enemy that you're trying to engage in most cases. Which means that one shot through the front of the hull can take out both crew members at one time. And when you're not getting wrecked from the ground, you're getting raked from the air. This vehicle is very susceptible to air attack and artillery fire. The vehicle also has four-wheel steering, which makes it very difficult to control at high speeds. So there's my list of why I don't particularly like this vehicle, but that doesn't mean it's unusable. Before we get into the main feature, let's take a look at a video clip where I was able to use a good position on the map Poland for some crew sniping. Here we go. All right, so we're heading down toward the lake here on Poland, and I'm going to use these rocks for cover. It's a Panzer IV. Pop out. Lucky shot got the gunner. Let's hit the driver. Now he's dead in the water. Assistant driver. Commander. Dead. Ideal engagement. Lucky, but it worked. We're just going to hide out here for a few minutes. See if we catch anybody else trying to sneak over toward the cap. All right, we got a little movement down by the shoreline again. Peek out just a little bit. Um drop some arty on him, make him move. All right, gunner, he can no longer shoot me. I feel free to pull out. Oh, I hit the rock. I'm trying to get the driver. Got one more commander there and he's dead. That worked out pretty well. Drop 
some arty in some of these other positions. There's a flak panzer up there that I can see highlighted. We'll try to pull out and engage him in just a second. Be very weary of these 20 millimeter auto cannons. This is going to be a very, very lucky shot here. Bam! Gunner! Driver! Right, we've got the ability to take out a plane. So we're going to tuck in here behind this rock and go for an air attack. Some more Artie while we're waiting. Uh oh, we have Artie incoming. Nothing I can do about that now. So we're heading on the plane run, looking for vehicles that are stationary. Much easier to destroy a vehicle that's stationary. Notice there is a vehicle heading down toward the lake who may be able to engage me. I'm going to go ahead drop these bombs. Alright, get out of this plane. Come back to find out I've been hit and my gunner's dead. Alright. There's a ho row up on the top. I'm going to take a chance here. Make a quick turnaround. Hope he doesn't get me. Can't let this other guy get behind me. Let's speed over and use this rock for cover. From the whole road, Ooh, artillery. While we engage this guy, and somebody else kills him, that works out well for me. We're gonna pull forward, hide from the whole road, and repair. Now, I'm gonna turn around while I'm hiding from the whole road. I really have no idea how he kills me, but he kills me. Here it comes. So, yeah, I've slowed this down. Watch this. Okay, the round goes past the rock, past me, past the dock, hits somewhere back here in the water, and one little piece of shrapnel comes up and kills my driver. So, yeah, these things are very weak. All right, we picked up the new map, Italy. We are on the eastern side of the map. Three capture points right in the middle. A at the top, B in the center, C at the bottom. So, I'm not sure what I want to do. I don't know what to do on this map. We're gonna go for this lower spawn point, the southernmost, southeastern most spawn point. We're using the desert camouflage it's provided in game. This vehicle is very hard to control at speed. But you kind of need the speed to. Yeah, here we go. All over the place. <laughs> uh, you need the speed to get in position first with this vehicle because you need to be able to get somewhere and hide and ambush the other people. So you need to go fast, but man, this thing is so hard to control. So we're heading up toward the sea cap. not sure what good positions are up here. I cannot drive in a straight line. Good Lord. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, okay. Get rid of that. Okay. There's another one. Oh, it grew back. Through here, I can't 
Man, I just made a U-turn. Dang it. Alright, there's somebody on the cap. Let's be very careful. Be very quiet. Oh! I'm getting very, very quiet. up. Oh, hello. So that worked out well. He was preoccupied with my teammate. Uh-oh. Oh, he's friendly. Didn't tell for a second. So we're taking this cap right quick. I'm hiding behind this rock. It's another vehicle reposition behind this rock so I don't know where he's coming out at he captured the zone and he's gonna be coming from this way can't even knock down that is he coming out from there let's move forward just a little bit more There he is. Oh, bad shot. All right, one more crew. There we go. Very lucky he didn't kill me. Very lucky. Okay, so we have the B cap and the C cap. We're just Pulling around through the Italian village here. Oh, Whew. Let's see, it's like some kind of castle or something up here to my right. I don't think you can get up there. You might be able to, but I don't know. It's pretty solid. Let this guy take the lead, and I'll try to provide some supporting fire, depending on what he sees. Oh, I see somebody on the minimap right there. One hit, it's a bad hit. Good rate of fire we got. Gunner, one more crew member, there we go. Let's come down here to this house. Dang it! Lost control again. I want to get beside this house. Let's see if I can ambush some of these guys crossing right here. And now I don't see them. around this side. Nope. I think, oh, here we go. Nope, missed him. He's a flak panzer too, I need to be careful of him. He just got taken out. Uh, aircraft. Anybody else going to drive through there? We have the A cap. They've taken the B cap back. See somebody on the mini map. Down by two people on the mini map. Down by the B cap. I can see them around the corner of this building. Nope. Alright. Oh, there's four guys down there. Where are they? On this road? 
All right. Let's see. Are they coming up through here? Don't know. Oh, saw somebody. Which road are they coming in? This one or the artillery fire? Drop some on them. I think they are coming on this one. Let's look. Yep. Alright. That worked. Oh, missed him. Come on. There we go. Somebody else down here? Drop some party. Let's see. See him right at the edge of this. Is he gonna come out? There he is. All right, we got a hit on him. It's the commander. There we go. I would have liked to got the gunner first, but still worked. Let's see. I feel like if I get down there, I'm gonna get hit. So I'm gonna run back up towards C. We have plenty of guys capping the B cap. Just gonna come back up here. See if anybody is coming this way. Oh, who's that right there? Can I hit him? I did, got his gunner. Oh, missed him. I got a kill assist. And hey, I think that might be it. It is. So, whoo, very lucky to have survived that match. Take a look at the results. Awards. Shadow Strike Streak, Tank Rescuer, Double Strike, Professional, Sporting Fire, The Best Squad. My results, fourth, fourth place in the team. It's my XP and credits, premium bonus. Destroyed six targets. There we are, that guy had eight. So, he came in second on the kill count. That's not bad for this vehicle. So, yeah, the SD KFC 221. Um, hard to control, no armor, uh, pinprick ammunition with good penetration, so you got a crew snipe. Really easy to be killed in this vehicle. Um, had a really lucky game, but overall, it's not my favorite. If you've enjoyed this look at the SD KFC 221, hit that like button. If you didn't, don't. Subscribe if you would. But as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Nerd out.